We are back at the Great Lakes Science Center. It feels like we have been counting down to this eclipse for years, yes. but it is finally here just a matter of days, hours away, and there's going to be a lot of activity here at the Science Center. NASA is going to be a huge part of it. We have Chris Hartenstein with us. Tell me what is happening to the Earth, to the moon, to the sun that we are going to be observing right here in Cleveland. The day of the event, what's going to be happening is the moon will actually come right directly between the Earth and the sun, and it will carve out a path that's a shadow across North America, and it just so happens that Cleveland sits right along that path of the shadow of the moon. Lucky us that we have kind of this front row seat. Absolutely. So what is NASA going to be doing as this is all playing out? So we are working and partnering with the Great Lakes Science Center. We have an eclipse festival that's happening the Saturday and Sunday leading up, including the Monday of the eclipse. So we'll be here all three days. We'll have a NASA village uh, out on the front lawn available for everybody to come and join, not only to see and hear and learn about the eclipse uh, and experience that with us, but also to learn about NASA missions and the tie of NASA to Northeast Ohio and Cleveland and Sandusky. That's incredible. So you can experience that on Saturday, on Sunday, or on Monday, depending on where you want to be when this eclipse is playing out. And it's not just a matter of a couple of minutes. Let's talk about the timing a little bit of it and also how you can safely view it. Absolutely. So the moon will start to get in front of the sun uh, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's called a partial eclipse. You'll see it starting to cut out. It will be look like a crescent sun versus a crescent moon. Okay. And that will go from 2 o'clock till just about 3.13. At 3.13, the moon will be completely over Cleveland, will be right in front of the sun, mm -hmm. and at that point, we'll be in totality. You okay. have to take your eclipse glasses off. Off at that point? During okay, that so time. You, but you want them on the rest of the, the time? The rest that, of the Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Leading up from 2. Anytime you're looking at the sun. So okay. we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Then from 3.13 to 3.17, we'll be in totality. That is the major show. Okay. And we want to enjoy that because with the moon blocking out the sun, we'll see the corona just glowing across the sky. An amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to do that until 317. At that point, uh, the moon will start to move beyond the sun. Sun will start peeking out. Okay. Time to put the eclipse glasses back on. Okay. And we'll be able to see a partial going the other direction until about 430 in the afternoon. Uh -huh. During that time, anytime in the partial eclipse when the sun is not totally eclipsed, what you want to do is you want to know where the sun is. Point. Okay. okay, sun's right there. Get yourself in a single location. Okay. Put the glasses on. Okay. And you can notice you can't see a thing no, in these right now. I can't see anything. I can't see my hand right in front of my face exactly. with the sun. Exactly. Then you look up at the sun. You can look safely through these glasses okay. that are actually ISO certified to be able to filter out. All right. So you don't want to substitute like a good pair of sunglasses for this. You really do want to find yourself a pair of glasses. And they'll Absolutely. have them here at Great Lakes Science they Center, will. won't they? Yes. We will have some for distribution as well as Great Lakes Science Center and potentially some other vendors that will be around as well. Okay. I have to ask though. It's Cleveland, Northeast Ohio in April. We have a lot of cloudy days. What's going to happen? I mean, shoot, it could snow on that day for all I know. So what happens if it's cloudy and how will that kind of compromise, if at all, the experience of this once in a lifetime eclipse? So eclipses are multi-sensory. Um, obviously, the biggest show, the visual reveal up in the sky, that would be a, a bit of a problem. Okay. However, you will still feel a significant temperature drop. We're talking 10 oh, degrees okay. on your skin. So that will be something. Huh. Uh, animals, local wildlife might actually behave a little differently. Uh-uh, that's really cool. And the that's Vision, the actual light will drop significantly and if it's overcast it will get even darker than we would be expecting it if it was a clear day out. Uh -huh. So uh, at that point we'll still see it, you will still know it's happening, uh, but we're all, we are actually fortunate that by being right here by Lake Erie, uh, the lake may still help to keep some clouds at bay provided that the lake stays cold up and through April. Uh -huh. So one way or the other, we might have a nice day, we might have a cold day, but we might have a good good cold lake keeping the clouds away as well. Interesting. All right, and if you can't make it down here to the Great Lakes Science Center, uh, NASA has a way for you to stream? Absolutely. So NASA TV, NASA Plus uh, are broadcasting the Eclipse Live event. We're actually one of the main uh, broadcast locations, so we will have a NASA TV stage right here on the front lawn. Oh, awesome. And we'll be broadcasting worldwide. So so Cleveland will be the hub because Glenn is here in totality. And so they'll be able to see that even if we can't see it right over our heads, we'll be able to see it through the broadcast. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much and happy eclipse, everybody. Thank you, Jen.